have you ever wanted to mine a cryptocurrency on your Raspberry Pi? Well, I sure have, and I actually found a way to do that, and we're going to be using a crypto coin that is made especially for the Raspberry Pi and low-powered devices. So I was actually really excited to see this, and I was actually looking at YouTube the other day, and this guy's video came up in my recommendation. And it says mining Dino coin with the Raspberry Pi 4. And I was actually really surprised to see it and I was happy. So we're going to be taking a look at how we can install this and how does this thing actually work on a Raspberry Pi 4. So I'll leave a link to this video in the description to check his channel out. He actually does some pretty cool mining videos, not only for low power devices, but it's actually really cool. So check him out. But if we go over to the website, it says the only coin that can be mined with computers, Raspberry Pis, Ardenios, ESP boards, and more. So I actually do have an Ardenio board. I might try this out on there too and see how it actually does perform. But if we scroll down right here, it says, why should you use Duino coin? It's the only coin that can be mined by on Arduino boards, smartphones, computers, and single board computers. Which that is pretty true. You don't want to mine Bitcoin on the Raspberry Pi. You're going to make like nothing at all. So it's obvious that you don't want to do that. It does many things differently than other cryptos. It's not a fork. It has instant transactions. That's pretty cool. It's completely open source. That's also great. It wants to achieve something in the crypto world. A price may go up in the future. That would be something really cool because this is not a very well-known cryptocurrency. Of course, it doesn't have a great rate like Bitcoin or any other really well-known cryptocurrency, but it is still really good. So there is a lot of more information here, but we're going to jump into installing this. So as my operating system, I am going to be using Raspberry Pi OS Lite. You could use the desktop version, but that's going to use up more of your CPU, more of your RAM, and you don't even need that. So because I am using this for one purpose, and that is mining, I want to use Raspberry Pi OS Lite. So I'm actually going to open up my Raspberry Pi Imager, choose OS, and I am going to choose Raspberry Pi OS Lite. I'm going to choose storage, my device, but before, I'm actually going to do this all with SSH and not having to use a monitor whatsoever, so I'm actually going to enable SSH real fast. So control shift x this opens up a window for you, I want to enable SSH, and I'm going to type in a password real fast so that I can log into my Pi. I'm going to click save, and I'm going to click write, and then I'll be able to do everything without using a monitor whatsoever. So type in my password and then I'll get to flashing this to my USB stick. Okay, so my thing is not flashing right now, you can see right here. So I can just exit out of there and I am done with that. So now we are actually going to just go ahead and SSH into our Pi real fast. So to do that, this th you can do this on any operating system, Linux, Windows, or Mac OS like I'm on. So I'm going to open up my terminal. If you're on Windows, open up CMD. And right here, we're actually just going to type SSH pi at our IP address. So I actually use this app called Thing on my iOS device and from there I can track all my IP addresses on my network and find them. Or you can do it however you like, that's how I find my IP address. But I'll leave a link to that app if you do want to download it on your phone and try it out. So my IP address is 192.168.0.33 and I hit enter. Are you sure you want to connect? Yes, I want to connect. And my password that I typed in earlier on my Raspberry Pi imager. So I'm going to type that password in right here. And now I am in my Raspberry Pi, you see right here. So what we're going to do right now is actually we're going to do a quick update to get all the latest releases and everything like that. While that's updating, we're actually going to have to go ahead and open up one more thing. I'm going to hit upgrade in one minute and then we'll go over so there's going to be about 30 upgrades, I think. Yeah, 30. So sudo apt upgrade. We want to get everything, everything the latest. So do sudo apt upgrade, and when prompted, hit Y and enter. So let that do all of the updates, and we're going to go back here to the Duino Coin website. We're going to go over to Getting Started Guide, and we're, we need an account on the network to save all of our wallet, all of our coins on their online wallet. So we're going to click this link right here, open link in new tab, and right here, a new account username. I actually already um, created a, an account, so I don't have to do that, but I'm going to go log in, and I'm going to just go ahead and type in my password. It's already saved in my browser, so I can go register. Oh, why did I do that? I meant to go log in. I go log in, 
and it's connecting and you can see I already mined like barely anything. So I mined 0 0.04093171. So I literally mined nothing because I just tested it out like a few minutes ago, but I did not do barely anything. So we're gonna let this finish updating and you see right here blocking VS Code Repo. I was actually surprised to see that too. They're actually now blocking Microsoft repos from your system. Maybe everyone getting mad about it actually helped and Raspberry Pi OS people actually fix this. So I'm not sure about that, but that's off topic. But yeah, so you need to create an account and you're gonna wanna log into your online web wallet right here. This will update automatically so you can see your latest coins and everything like that. But we go back right here and they have a whole guide for the Raspberry Pi and the RD New Board. But we're gonna go start mining with Raspberry Pi and we're actually gonna have to install a few dependencies because this actually uses Python heavily. So you really need all the Python dependencies. So this is just processing the newest tools. And after that is done, we'll get started to installing the new Python dependencies and then the, we'll get clone the project. So now we have a completely updated system on a Raspberry Pi. So next step is to install the dependencies that they want, which are basically the Python ones and Git. So we're gonna copy this and we are gonna paste it in our terminal right here. And this is grabbing everything, hit Y right there, hit enter, and this will grab Python, Git, pip, all these needed dependencies that this miner uses on a Raspberry Pi. And if you're running this on Raspberry Pi OS Lite, you can really heavily just focus on this, and there won't be much more processes in the background taking away your power from mining. So this is a good thing to just use Raspberry Pi OS Lite rather than the full Raspberry Pi OS desktop. Done with installing all the dependencies, we're actually gonna have to git clone the project. So copy this command right here, and this is gonna grab all the files needed to run our miner on our Raspberry Pi. So as you see, this miner actually does not require that many dependencies other than Python, pip, and git. So it's actually really nice that we don't need much more anything than a few files, Python, and git. So it's just grabbing everything from the GitHub page right now. And actually, I'm gonna CD into that project. So we're gonna copy that and we are gonna paste it in here. I'm not gonna run the miner just yet because I have a few more things I wanna do. So I'm gonna type ls to see the files inside this folder. As you see right here, we have cliwallet.py and then we also have another wallet.py. You say you might say, what are, what's the difference? Well. If you're running this with a desktop environment like Raspberry Pi OS, you can actually open up the wallet PY and it opens up like an app for you and you can type in with a graphical user interface. But if you're in a terminal like me and you don't have any desktop environment, you just run the CLI wallet one and it does everything in the terminal. And it's more lightweight, so it works a bit better in my opinion. So that's why I'm sticking to the CLI version rather than using the wallet version. And I'm gonna type Python 3 CLI because we have to log in before doing our mining. So CLI underscore wallet dot PY. We're gonna type that and it says Colorama is not installed. So we actually have to install it. I'm gonna copy this command right here and we're gonna actually just command C and then we're gonna control C to exit. And I'm gonna paste that in here because we need that dependency installed. I'll also leave a link uh, thing in the description, you can just copy this rather than having to do it like that. Hit enter, and this will grab Colorama from the pip repositories for you. And now let's try running the miner one more time. Let's hit enter, and it says another thing is not installed. So it doesn't work correctly if you don't have this installed. So we're gonna have to copy this one too, and I'm gonna command control C out of here too, paste that one more time, and after this we'll be done with all the dependencies and we'll have everything we need installed. And we'll be able to run the miner, run everything that we need, it will be awesome, we'll be set. So this dependency is a bit bigger as you see than the last one, it's getting a few more packages from pip. So now we're done, hit the up key two times to go back to your script, hit enter. And now we'll be ready to log in. So give it a second and I wanna log in. I, it looks like you can register from here too. I haven't tested it. I've only tried logging in. So I'm gonna hit one and enter. Enter your username and I'm gonna type in my username I created earlier, my password, hit enter. And there looks like there was some problem right there. Let's try running it one more time and see if it works because I did have a few bugs with this earlier too. Log in. 
and enter my password. And now I'm successfully logged in. I don't know what happened the first time, but you see right now it does work and it shows all everything I have, all my coins and everything. But this one actually does not update live like the one on the web version. So I'd recommend just using the web version because it updates lively while you're mining. So that is it for this version. If you want to exit control, control C exits, now we're ready to start mining. So type ls and let's look for the miner. It's pcminer.py. So python3 and we're going to type pc underscore miner.py. And now it's going to start mining. It says one dependency is missing, but it actually grabs it for you. It doesn't do like the other one. It does everything for you. So look, it's looking for the dependency. It's trying to grab it. It says enter your username. I'm going to type in my username. It says set mining intensity. I want, you can go 100%. I'm just going to go 95 for now. Mining threads. I'll just go with the recommended. You could up this and you might be able to earn a bit more if you did up this. And difficulty, we want low because we're on a low power device like the Raspberry Pi. Hit one. You want to add an identifier name. Yes, I do my name i'm going to just call it pi4 because it is a pi4 and developer donation i'll give the donation i'll give one percent to my to them and it says config save launching the miner looky here we are mining on our raspberry pi so here we go it's accepted and if we look right here our ping my ping right now isn't that good it's 60 if i did to get a bit of a better um, internet connection i would be making more but i am mining on my raspberry pi it's obviously not that much, but you see down here, I'm getting my hash rates, and it's about 753.8 megabytes. So it, it, it's okay. It's not the best, and you need to remember, you're not going to be making millions of dollars from a Raspberry Pi. But it is cool that you can do it from this low-power device. And in the future, let's say you made like a Raspberry Pi cluster. That would be a really cool project, connecting all of them and see how much you can mine. That would be definitely something to look forward to. And yeah, so if you have one of these laying around, you might want to try this out. Or if you have Arduino, you might also might want to try this out. This new coin, if more people use it, it's going to get more popular and it's going to go up. But if we go and look at my web wallet right here, give it a second. We can actually just reload it to make sure... That is, I'm going to log in one more time. And here we go. My balance, you see my balance already went up from last time. And it does give you an estimated daily profit. It's trying to figure that out right now. Earlier it told me and it was like 1 cent, point one cent a day. But if I leave this on more and my hash rate goes up, I am going to make more. And if you do use more Raspberry Pis, it will go up. But this is... A cool project that you can do with the Raspberry Pi, leaving it on for a long period of time. It doesn't use much power. You don't have to worry about that. And it does work. And you see right here, my Pi 4 right here. So I've, if I connected to more devices and I gave them different names, it would show right here. And you can it shows all my information. And that is how to do that from your Raspberry Pi. But let's say I want to leave this on, but I want to close this window. When I exit out of this, it closes. Well, the thing to fix that is we're actually going to exit out of here one time. So control C, we're going to install a program called screen. So we're going to type sudo apt install screen. So screen is a program that allows you to run programs with closing out the window, which is something that you want to do if you're, wanna run, if you're wanting to run your Raspberry Pi headless like I do. And headless means without a monitor, which we're doing right now. But yeah. So we're actually going to type screen-s and we're going to give it whatever name we want. I'm going to call my mining because that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do that and it's going to open a new window. And now we're going to actually run that miner one more time. So we can just up till we find it and I can't find it right now. So I'll just type ls and python3 and it's called pc underscore miner.py. So we're going to type that command right in our terminal, and now it's start mining. So now let's say I want to exit this without messing the whole thing up. So make sure it's mining. It's mining right now. And we actually go control A, and then we hit D, and it exits. we like, wait, is it still mining? How am I supposed to know? We'll type screen dash ls and you see right now we have one screen going, and it's called mining. So if I want to enter that screen, I type screen dash r 
dash r mining the name of the one and you go back it, it adds you right back to the place where you are mining so it is mining successfully right now and if i want to exit one more time control a d exit screen ls to make sure that it's still running and it is so after doing this you can actually just close out of your terminal terminate and it is still going to be running your miner so that is actually a really cool thing that it's that easy to close out of your terminal and it's still going to be mining so it's that easy to mine a cryptocurrency on your raspberry pi so i really enjoyed using this duino coin it's really cool and i'm going to be running my pi on and maybe i'll got i'll let you guys know how much i do earn in another video but I recommend checking this out. It is a really cool cryptocurrency, and it's cool that it runs on low-powered computers like the Raspberry Pi and Arduino. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you think about this down below in the comments, and thank you for watching.